Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're interested in seeing what I made for this week, then just keep on watching. I'm starting off with these six Kanga boxes and also these aluminum foil rolls. Now I have the bands on the rolls because they are not all the same length. And you can just see here, there is still leftover residue. So I'm just going to remove that before spray painting. Before I get to spray painting, I'm taking my silver Sharpie and I'm just going to trace around my box. And then I'm going to cut the foam board with my X-Acto knife. So that way I can glue it inside the box since the box is not that sturdy. I'm cutting inside the lines and not on the lines so that way my foam board fits right into my box. I'm using hot glue only to glue my foam board inside my box and I'm going to repeat the same exact steps for my other five boxes. Now that everything is ready to be spray painted, I'm going in with my silver metallic spray paint. These four boxes are for the bigger stand. These two boxes are for the smaller stand and instead of using the silver spray paint, I'm using the black semi-gloss spray paint for these. These will be the legs to the bigger stand and I'm using that same black semi-gloss spray paint. These are the legs to the smaller stand and I'm going in with my silver metallic spray paint. Now that everything is dry, I'm going to cover the imperfections on these rolls with a mixture of Mod Podge silver glitter glue and also silver glitter. This is what the aluminum foil rolls look like now that they're all dry. Now I'm going to take my E6000 glue and my hot glue and place a roll in each corner of the box. Now I'm going to fill each roll with these glass gems. That way I would add weight to my stand and also it would make it more sturdy. Now I'm adding E6000 glue so I can add the second box. Then I'm going to let this dry, flip it over and add additional glue.
I decided to use these Dollar Tree napkin rings to cover the visible glue. Now I'm decorating my stand using these mirror tiles and I'll be using a combination of E6000 glue and hot glue. Now that I'm done gluing all my mirror tiles down, now I'm taking this silver diamond wrap and I'm just going to glue it around the aluminum foil rolls. This is what my stand is looking like now that I'm all done decorating it. Now I'm taking these Dollar Tree push lights and I will be placing a push light on three of my boxes. Now I'm working on my second stand and I'm just repeating the same exact steps as I did for the first stand. Once I removed the glue strings and cleaned all my mirror tiles off, I had something that looked like this. I think this week's projects turned out pretty good. I think I did a really good job with making these stands out of canned glue boxes and aluminum foil rolls, but tell me what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. Thanks for watching.